Hello everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to Resident Evil 5. In the last episode, we started chapter 2-1, found ourselves a brand new SMG, found ourselves that rifle that Sheva now has, and today we'll be moving on! We shall find out where we're going. Make sure our pistol's nice and reloaded. Nice little house with a bunch of enemies in it. Knock, knock, bitches! This is my house now. You've been evicted. You didn't pay rent this month. Oh, never mind. Yeah, you did. Now, of course, I could have barged in through the window, but where would my manners be? I say that for escapes. And if I remember correctly, we go all the way over here. We go right back to the beginning of the map. Ah, right, never mind. Again, you can completely skip that house, actually. These things will be the bane of your accuracy rating. <laughs> Kurt, come back! It's been two minutes. I'm gonna stick Cher up here. I should actually do a pretty good job at sniping them. It's always best to give your precision weapons to the AI, because they usually never miss. I mean, they should have a hundred percent, uh, what do you call it, ring? I'll pick it up for you, Chev, don't you worry. And I'll punch him in the face. And stomp his head off, because I'm just rude like that. And I need to find some more pistol ammo, because I'm burning for it like a motherfucker. Damn, son. I need to find ammo for everything, actually. Oh. Just missed the chance. Oh, they're all falling over each other. Knock them all down. They're playing bowling. Not today, but... At least I found some more shotgun shells. I'm going to go ahead and use just a little bit of ammo that I have for this gun now. Because I may as well. Got a red herb. Uh, I don't think I actually have any space for that, so... I wonder if I can just tell partner to get it. Nope, never mind. I have quite a bit of SMG ammo now. That's one way to deal with them. Shooting enemies on the floor are a good way to get your accuracy up. If you don't want to stomp them. And there's, oh. Right, hang on. There you go, Shava. There you go, Shava. Right, I'm going to pick this up because this could be very useful for me. So yeah, we are actually going to try and get over there if we can. And I think we're going to head to the roof in order to do that. Thank you for all the gold. And oh, handgun ammo. I need that very much. So thank you. Picked up a gram. I'm going to go ahead and use this now. Just to get us both up to full health. To an extent. Now before you do a little jump. Turn around, look up there, there is your emblem, and I think that's the last one I know about in this area. So, apologies, but that, that's about all, I, all I've got for you. 
Right, now all I do it all I have to do now is hope that Sheva has enough ammo to make it through this part. Because there are a lot of enemies. And yes, if she dies, game over. So, uh, yeah, no pressure. I mean, she can deal with a few of them. No way she can deal with all of them, though. So it's best if I take out just one of them. Leave him kind of just sitting there. She should be good. The best thing is I never really bother with you, which is really nice. This guy kind of did though. And he's going to regret his decisions. I can confirm that one. Oh, hang on, never mind. He still want it round two? Alright then. And I bet you regret that decision too, bud. Thank you, Chef. She actually didn't lose any health, so that's quite nice. Usually they will get hit once or twice. But luckily, Sheva is an independent woman that don't need no man. Okay. What would she just give me? Mm, Alright. Well, I'm actually finding a lot of pistol ammo now, so I'm really happy. And by the way, I strongly recommend going around this area now and just checking all the loot for this upcoming mit. Ooh. I actually kind of wanted to keep that red barrel. Oh god. Rip my accuracy. He just caught me. It's all good. And trust me, you want to deal with these enemies now while you can. Nicely done. Alright. Now we can move on. And I want to have that down just for when we need it. Meet Chainsaw Man! And meet more enemies coming in. Right, that'll stun him for a minute. While we go ahead and deal with these enemies. Oh, never mind. He didn't, he didn't think, he didn't think. Run, Shava! Oh. Run, Shava! <laughs> oh shit, that's not good. Mm. Oh, make sure you land the stun there. He would have killed me, otherwise. Alright, Chef's in here, in here, in here. Ow! Oh! Chef, get out of the way! Chef! 
<laughs> you got me killed by the man with the fish. <laughs> oh. Right. Uh, let me see for a second here. She has a green. She has shotgun shells. Thank you very much. And pistol ammo. Why does she have pistol ammo? <laughs> Makes no sense. Alright. Let's see. And then give her that. That'll do. Right. Back to that, shall we? <laughs> They have loads of ads, don't really help. Really. Here he comes again. Don't complain. You shouldn't get your face sawed off. <laughs> she didn't get stumped! Oh my god. I am the worst at this game. Thank you for scratch using the pistol now, it's terrible. Fall back, fall back. <sighs> Never mind. That's right. This group of kids. This act, this this fight isn't actually hard. <laughs> I want to put this out to you. I mean, I could just keep him stun locked here and be cheese. But I really don't want to be. Well, I guess we are kind of being a little bit cheese now. I didn't think I was actually close enough for that to happen. So you got stunned there. Which was nice of him. Alright, Chevy, you wanna shoot at the uh, individual with the chainsaw? Maybe. I think I would have greatly appreciate if you were to do that. Oh, damn it, Shabba! <laughs> oh, why not? <laughs> okay. Okay. Shall we... We should just cheese him, shouldn't we? I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about just cheesing him now. <laughs> I'm not saying anything, it's because I'm actually concentrating now. <laughs> because, goddamn, I actually have to. That is pathetic. See, there he got stunned after a few bullets. It's just that Sheva isn't helping me, she's just killing those little ones. 
Oh my god. Uh, run! Dead yet. Come on. Okay. I'm running far away from him now. He does tank a lot. I am unhappy now. Well, there is a fun fact. He's not actually dead yet. Uh, so, uh, also, you do not want to fight him when he, if he comes back to life. So, uh, book it. <laughs> Trust me. You do not want to fight him when he comes back from the dead. What you do want to do, however, is grab these gold bars and all these rubies because it actually makes the fight actually useful. And for a decent early game farming spot, it's not too bad. That fight didn't have to be that long. I, I apologize so much. Alright. <laughs> Over there. Ah yes, this part. And you thought the deaths were just... That ended? Nope, not just yet. I'm glad to see you guys. Delta Team Captain Stone. Chris Redfield. Shiva. Thanks, Josh. I owe you one. You guys know each other. I trained under Josh. He taught me everything I know. Shiva became little sister of the team. Now, Shiva, you must continue your search for Irvin. According to the data we retrieved from the hard drive, we believe he has moved on to the mining area. There's more info inside. We will follow after taking care of business here. And keep your radio handy just in case. Thanks, Josh.
Jill. Chris, are you all right? This picture, it's... Ah, forget it. It's nothing. Let's move out. Let it be known that I absolutely hate quick time events. Oh. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Oh. Quick time events. Don't like them. Don't like them at all. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. See you in the next episode. Until we meet again, goodbye.